Hey, Andrew here, it's time for another episode of Let's Do This. Today we'll be tying the Trinity Knot. Kudos goes out to Alex Krasny over at Agree or Die, who has some great instructional videos. Definitely check them out. And without further ado, let's get started. This is what the Trinity Knot looks like close up. It's a pretty sweet looking knot that's sure to grab some attention at the next gala, prom, ball, or just night out on the town. So let's do this. First and foremost, this video is mirrored. With that in mind, we'll keep the wider end of the necktie on our right, and the skinnier end of the necktie on our left. The tricky part about tying neckties is having it come out to the desired length. One way, particularly for this knot, is to measure out the wide end down to your navel, and then start tying from there. Now let's get started. First, we'll create a dimple in the wider end of the necktie, pull towards the center, and then take the skinnier end of the necktie and pull it across. From here, take the skinnier end of the necktie and pull it through. We'll end up with something that looks like this. Next, we'll take the skinnier end of the necktie and pull it underneath. Then, we'll take that same end and pass it through from the outside into the center of the loop and have it go underneath everything else. Then the smaller end of the necktie will go across on top of everything and then go behind and through the main loop again. Alright, we're getting towards the end but it's also going to get a little bit trickier. Now we'll take the smaller end of the necktie and pass it through this front loop that we created when we actually pass the smaller end of the necktie above everything else. At this point, we'll want to keep our knot fairly loose so that we have enough space to work with. Take the smaller end of the necktie and pass it behind the wider end. So we should have something that looks like this. Hey, we're almost done. Take the smaller end of the necktie and pass it through the loop that we just made. From here, it's a matter of tightening up the knot to our own preference. Whether it be a bigger, looser knot or tighter, smaller knot. Or something in between. One important step is taking the smaller end of the necktie, placing it underneath the collar to give it a place to hide. Unpop the collar, tighten the knot, and we're good to go. This is the Trinity Knot. And here's a quick recap of tying this knot. That's it for this episode of Let's Do This. Comment down below and let us know how your knot turned out. And remember to spread the awesomeness by sharing it with your family, friends, pets, coworkers, and dance partners. Subscribe above, and until next time, be awesomer.